parallelogram is a, um, uh, a play about a, a, a couple. Um, uh, I play a character by the name of Jay. Uh, he's uh, in a new relationship with a woman who's younger than himself. I don't even care if you do smoke. No, wait, wait, wait a second. I don't care if you do. I sort of prefer you didn't do it in the bedroom, you know, so my clothes don't stink in the morning. But if I walk in here and obviously smell the smoke, then how does that make me the bad guy? And that's my speech. Now I'm done. Your turn. From my point of view, it's Jay's love story. And uh, over the course of time, um, this woman starts drifting away from me for reasons that I don't understand and don't have the tools to, to deal with. And one of the reasons she starts drifting away is because she's actually being visited by a version of herself from the future. Now this is funny because I know this woman somehow. But as it went on, I realized it wasn't that I knew her from any particular place. Someone from work? No. Or the gym? Not from a place, more like maybe from a time. You mean like high school or no, college? An older woman, older than me. Were you a lesbian at some point? No. Not that I would care. There is a question uh, in my mind, and I, I suppose in the audience's mind, as to the sanity of, uh, of my girlfriend. So someone from the present? No. But you said not from the past. Right. Because if it's not from the past and it's not from the present... And that's the person who was smoking. This person was here? Yes. Here in the bedroom? Right. But not a lesbian? No. And where is this woman now? I don't think I can tell you that. You can't? I think some of the humor comes out of the fact that you have this older woman from the future who directly addresses the audience and has a very, uh, a very unique world view um, and has, a, has kind of this wonderful, wry relationship with the audience. Uh, you have my character who is just hit with one obstacle after another, and, and a lot of humor comes out of that. You know, him trying to cope with a woman who is either going crazy or is actually being visited by her future self, which he knows nothing about, and uh, that, that, that's pretty funny. Plus, there's a lot of farcical elements in it. There's a lot of, um, you know, like I said, starting and stopping of time, coming in and out of doors, uh, quick costume changes, uh, little uh, funny little, you know, riffs of misunderstanding, almost Abbott and Costello-like, you know? So, uh, so it's a good time.